Hey guys, I just wanted to record a quick video to show you a quick and easy way to get started with my uh, MIDI to Arduino source code generator. Uh, so this is it pulled up here on the website, greenlightgo.org slash projects slash MIDI to Arduino. Uh, there's some step-by-step -step there as well as uh, some documentation on all of the different options and how to use them. Um, but just to go quickly, uh, I have this example file here that you can download and we're going to open that on this machine just so that you can see what it looks like. So it's opening here inside of Rose Garden, that's MIDI sequencing software. It can be used for creating and editing MIDI files. Here the MIDI file is open. You can see there are six tracks. Uh, normally each one of these tracks would correspond to a different instrument. I'm using each track to correspond to a different pin. Uh, so you can see tone 10 is going to mean generate tone square waves on pin 10. Uh, digital 2 means digital writes on pin 2. Servo 3 means there's a servo attached to pin 3. Uh, let's go ahead and look at tone 10. And uh, the default view, if I just double click, you'll see opens uh, sheet music. So MIDI is normally used to synthesize music, but um, in a more generic sense, it just generates commands. So this is a command to play this note at this time with this duration, play this note at this time with this duration. Uh, might make a little bit more sense if we look at it in the matrix editor. So time goes left to right, notes go low to high from bottom to top. So um, if we play this, That might be a familiar tune. You can kind of see it progressing from left to right um, and playing each note as it passes by, kind of like a piano roll. Um, but I wanted to also show you the servo because uh, it's a little bit different. Um, tones, it'll play the notes. The digital ones, it's just on or off. So on the percussion here, um, it's just on and off. Um, I need to open that in the matrix view. Oh, this is the matrix view oh, because it's a percussion instrument. Um, it doesn't really matter what instrument you have it set to. If it's a digital, all that matters is whether a note is supposed to be played at that time or not. So this is going to be high and then low in that space and then high and then low in that little gap and then high again and then low in that little gap. I think you understand. Um, servo though, servo is a little bit different as well. So I'm going to open that in the matrix editor and then turn on velocities. Uh, velocity is, you can think of it as volume, it's essentially the same thing. Um, so when the Arduino gets a command to play a note um, for a servo, if the volume's all the way up, that tells the Arduino to rotate all the way to 180. And if the volume's all the way down, like it is here, that'll tell the servo to go down to zero. Um, halfway in between would be 90 degrees, half of that would be 45, three quarters of the way would be 135. Um, so here you can see it's going to kind of go up and then down and then up and then down and then up and then down a little bit and then up and then all the way down and then back up, down, up, down, up, down. Right. So this is my MIDI file. Um, I'm going to, uh, oh, I don't have to save it because it's already downloaded. I'm not, I didn't make any changes. So we're just going to take that file and upload it uh, from my downloads here. There's the file there and I'll hit convert. And now I have this lovely source code generated for me. Let's just copy that to the clipboard and throw it into the Arduino IDE. Paste it in there, go back to the top. <clears throat> we can see it automatically included the servo library for us. Uh, initializes a servo, attaches it to pin three. It also initializes all of our output pins. And uh, we can see here it created this function called do performance, which is called from the setup function. That means it'll only be processed once. So if we wanted to loop, we can cut this and put it inside of the loop function and it'll go on forever. Uh, for now, we're gonna leave it in the setup. We just want it to run one time. But let's take a look at what it's doing. So the first thing it does is it generates on pin 10, a square wave at 659 Hertz. Uh, and then it turns on a couple of LEDs, it looks like. Oh no, this is uh, pin two was the percussion. So that's supposed to be a solenoid, but I don't have one. Um, and then A4 is gonna be connected to an LED. So it's gonna turn on the solenoid, turn on an LED, and then rotate the servo to 180 degrees. Uh, and then it's gonna wait for some amount of time before it turns off that note and plays the next one. Um, so, or actually this is gonna turn off the LED, 
wait a little while, and then play the next note. So turn off the note, turn off the LED, wait, turn on the next note, turn on the LED, wait, turn off the percussion, and then wait, turn off the note, turn off the LED. Okay, you get the idea. So it's turning on and off LEDs, it's playing notes, and it's uh, activating the solenoid for the percussion track. Uh, and we can see our whole MIDI file is sequenced in here. I only did 17 bars because that's a nice place for it to repeat. But it just takes every MIDI message and converts it to an Arduino command. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to jump out of this and we're going to take a look at the hardware now. Okay, so here's the hardware. Uh, we have our Arduino and plugged into pin 10 there is a small piezo speaker. Uh, and then plugged into pin 3 is this small servo. Plugged into pin 2 is supposed to be a solenoid for the percussion, but like I said, I don't have one. I do have this little speaker that will kind of make tapping noises when we give and take away power, so that will kind of work in a pinch for our percussion. And then uh, in the analog pins there, I have these three LEDs, which should kind of light up to the beat of the music. I just took the melody track and I kind of split it into thirds, highs, mediums, and lows and then assigned each one of those to each LED. So one should blink for the highs, one should blink for the mediums, and one should blink for the lows. So uh, let's go ahead and upload our code and we'll see what happens here. Uploading some blinking lights on the Arduino. Okay, so I didn't set it to loop. Uh, if I had, it would restart there. I guess I can hit the reset button. It'll go again. Um, then we have to listen to it again. But that's, that's it. That's how it works. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, if you find any bugs and you're on the Make ICT forums, just post it there to the forums. If you're not, you can shoot me an email at dom at makeict.org. I uh, hope you guys have fun. Uh, let me know if you run into any issues or anything that you think could be improved. Thanks. Bye.